Rod Ferguson actually dropped a tweet not that long ago. I think it was like on the 21st of November or something. I put it up on the screen there. And he talks about how like Diablo should have the title of Diablo like for ARPGs similar to Souls like and Rogue like. The actual quote says itself feels like the genre of ARPG is starting to mean a lot of different things. Much like Souls like and Rogue like. I wonder if we can normalize Diablo like for ARPGs that follow the Diablo formula. And I don't really understand why he said that Diablo like has been around for a long time like it, it there's been that that's been around since like the first Diablo so I'm not really sure why he would make this comment well I know I do know why I'd make this comment this comment was made because he's a little bit like uh upset about how big the Path of Exile 2 release stream and all that kind of stuff went they even went as far as to actually put a live stream at the same time for an armory type addition to Diablo 4 which isn't really that much of a large reveal like I, I don't see how how they thought that could take away from the Path of Exile 2 hype that is going around at the moment. There's a lot of hype for the game. There's a lot of people really looking forward to Path of Exile 2 coming out and all the stuff that's going on with that and all of the kind of going back to the roots of what those ARPGs actually are. Oh. Now, I've even seen GGG in the past talk about how Diablo 2 is a major inspiration for them when they were making the first Path of Exile. There's even some of the developers from the original Diablo games who consulted with GGG on creating the Path of Exile game. And they've never sat there and said, we are better, we are better, we are better. They've always put that like that shot back to Diablo 2 being the reason why they created the game it's a passion project for them this isn't like a blizzard I'm making so much money off of a title just for the name even though the game is nothing of what it used to be that might be just because I'm an old fart now and I look back on some of the older games and think to myself why are we not in that world anymore why are we so far away from what games were supposed to be at the moment it's just up and down all over the place you see it across the entire bloody industry it's like everyone's turned into a giant bunch of children like the tweet that he said just comes across as some childish person who's just seen that his not even something that he created he's just a manager he's just a general manager of this stuff but it feels like he's getting butt hurt over some random shit that just makes no sense just give a nod to poe2 just give the nod just say you did a good job guys like i'm um, uh, it it's look shaping up to be a good thing i mean and then take what's been loved and what people are really looking forward to in path of exile 2 and start to work that into your franchise if that's what you want it's, it kind of feels like diablo is going to end up being a path of exile light or well light i was about to say like a poe like a path of exile is like but there's still a lot of people even the path of exile fans they love Diablo and Diablo 2 they love it it started to go downhill at Diablo 3 and at Diablo 4 a lot of the hardcore players are just like what is this but it's still quite a loved game Diablo 4 is still a loved game I'm not gonna completely crap on it it's just not my cup of tea personally it, it's just uh, too way oversimplified for me and it doesn't have as much freedom as I would like in this kind of ARPG it just kind of felt like GGG kind of just went look look at our game it's amazing and then Blizzard turns around and they're like how can I make this about me? Even if it's negative in what I'm saying, and even if I'll get negative responses for what I'm saying, it's still going to bring some eyes to the table. And in the kind of context of games and making games, negative attention on a game, especially at the moment, at these days, with everything that's going on, you're not going to get the attention that you want from it because everyone's just going to shit on it. Especially when we're so close to this early access release for a game that's been hyped across the board for like, since they did their release since they did their release um live stream the other day like it's all anyone's talking about in this genre of game i just don't understand why blizzard can keep making like the bare minimum and expecting people to love it like they they're just making the bare minimum of what their game is and then just throwing it out with a name on it it just feels like at least to me that ggg has done more with the the actual like tiny amount of funding that they have well they did have a lot more funding this time around but the tiny little amount of funding they had than blizzard has done in like 15 years and it's been this way for quite a while blizzard just does not accept or openly acknowledge any direct competition and they don't use direct competition to grow 
their own brand. Instead, they just moan and blame players for not liking their content because it's the player's fault instead of what the developers are actually making as a piece of shit game. Again, that's just my personal opinion. If you like Diablo 4, don't hate me for it. I just didn't. It's just not my cup of tea. I haven't liked Diablo since Diablo 2. And I haven't played Diablo 2 since I was a kid. So it's not like I'm sitting here as a Diablo expert, but I have played Diablo 4. And I played it for quite, I played it for the entire campaign and I started getting into Endgame. And at the time where I was playing the Endgame was when it was still only on PS5, right at the beginning of its launch. And I kind of dropped it when I got to the Endgame. It just wasn't there for me personally. You can almost feel the, t like you can almost taste the salt in his post, like his tweet. You can almost taste it. I just wish developers could like give, tip their hat to other developers that are doing new things in their genre of games, the genre of games they're in, just tip their hat. You've done a good job. Now we're going to look at what's like what you've done well and what you can do and what so we can tell what we can do in the future for our game. But people don't want to do that. They want to blame everyone else. And it's not because they've made something that's subpar. It's because people are just people and that they just blame us for not liking. And then they blame other developers. It's like when Baldur's Gate 3 came out. Do you know how many AAA devs literally shit on Baldur's Gate 3? just because they and one of the actual quotes that you had from that point when Baldur's Gate 3 came out was a AAA developer turned around and goes they've set the bar too high for RPGs they're making it impossible for us to get to those levels why do you think that you can't get to those levels you just put your head down employ some people that are going to be doing well for what you want to do and are good in their specific areas of work and you make the game better but instead you just want to be negative and shit on everything healthy competitions kind of gone out the window these days and I'm, I'm not sure like I don't know the actual reason why people would rather just shit on something than try to make something better but not just shit on something shit on everyone who doesn't like what you've made instead of like taking criticisms and bringing it forward and creating those things and updating and making the game better for everyone as the players want to do it they just want you to lower your standard to their creation and that's just not really how it works i mean it can work and they made shit loads of money diablo floor obviously made a crap ton of money there's no doubt about it and path of exile 2 ggg devs are just about to make a crap load of money as well with the early access things and i'm sure there's going to be a lot of people who are spending quite a decent amount on the early access support pack i only went for the uh the smaller one well the smaller one i went for the hundred dollar one because i am gonna be I, I quite like the skin that they were putting on there even though i'm probably not gonna use the skins until end game i might not even use the skins at all to be honest but i think they deserve that bit of extra money from the standard thirty dollars than at least my opinion at the moment like i'm not gonna sit there and turn around and say that it's the best game ever because i haven't played it yet so i don't really know i just have a feeling it will be it's just from everything everything that's been said and done and the reveals that have been made and the releases of information and everything that's been going over in the past couple of years and the way the devs talk about their game just the way they talk about it you can tell that it's actually a passion project for them and not just some random thing where they they're just trying to make some money off of a previous game they even talked about like in in an interview with ziggy d they were talking about how there was some pushback from some of the guys when they wanted to have the bosses be unique each time with have unique mechanics and they have 50 bosses on release so all the 50 bosses are gonna have unique everything it's not just gonna be a larger version of a littler mob with a smash tactic uh, it's not gonna be anything like that and there was some pushback on that but he pushed and pushed and pushed and i think it's gonna be that way i think it's really gonna be something that goes really well i think it's going to come together really well and i think if developers were actually going to take a look at what's been said and what's been done and what's been going on with path of exile 2 we can actually have the genre as a whole grow from what it is to something better if they allow it and if they can take the criticism and if they can listen and learn maybe they will maybe they won't we'll have to see as it goes it kind of feels like if blizzard just started working on diablo 2 instead of making diablo 3 and diablo 4 which is the least like diablo games that you could possibly imagine at least again in my opinion that's just my opinion if they just cloned diablo 2 and did iterative improvements on the game itself and made it slightly better with the same formula without trying to push the boat out too far 
just working gradually as you're going along people would have loved that shit everyone would still be singing the praises of blizzard right now instead what they did was the they just made the least amount of content for the most amount of money which is their own fucking fault to be fair i mean rod would probably have had a point if like the current diablo had anything to do with the original games in the first place or even had the same people involved so he's just honestly full of shit but there's gonna be a lot of people they're gonna be like right we need we need to have poe like we need to get rid of that but diablo 2 like i think is a fair assessment for what arpg are working towards diablo 2 is the w2 is the like the granddaddy and i think it would be fair to say that diablo 2 like is actually a fair assessment because even the ggg the devs actually literally said that it is diablo 2 that is the main inspiration as i said earlier so but that's all i just wanted to have a little conversation about that today what are your thoughts on this whole kerfuffle what do you think about this geezer talking shit is he a hurt child or is he trying to do something else let me know down below i want to thank you all for watching remember to like and support your gaming goodness fly safe and avoid local chat scams